Hello, my name is Claire Roberts and I am head of CHS Prep. This video talks about how we undertake assessments in our school. The first thing to mention is that traditionally in the UK, children will take a SATS test at the end of year two and year six. We do not offer these in our school. These are government um, produced assessments to assess mainly the school and its performance. We do not feel that we need to do this because we are a through school that goes all the way to 18. If the children are making suitable progress, of course they will be welcomed into our senior school following the end of Prep 6. In terms of our assessments during the year, teachers will be continuously assessing after every lesson. They will be setting homeworks and classworks in which they will monitor the progress of the children and their understanding. This is marked via our class notebook application as well as our Teams application and feedback should be given on all of the work submitted by the children so that they know how they are doing. We also offer merits to reward effort and hard work and these merits can be turned into house points to celebrate each house's success as well as um, donations to charity. In terms of more formal assessments, in the prep school we assess three times a year at the end of each of the three terms. You can expect assessments in maths and English at the end of term one, term two and term three. Therefore, in December, usually March and also at the end of June. These assessments form the basis of our more formal recording of how the children are getting on and how much progress they are making. They also help us to see uh, if there are any gaps in the children's learning that would be more supported in a small group or perhaps with extra homework. These are the only assessments that we carry out in the prep school, as well as our weekly spelling and times table mental maths tests. There are no formal examinations at the end of the primary stage and therefore our pupils are free to learn in a creative and supportive way.